Hi everybody. Today's um, video is about all my junk journals, the things I use as junk journals, um, things I made, some of them I just used as they were, and I kind of wanted to go through. I had given a lot of journals away, and um, so I have times that are not here, but these are some of the ones that I, I have kept. Um, kind of looking around seeing what I have and these are what I have so I'm gonna kind of go through some of them and this is gonna be our video for today and I hope that it's okay because I thought you know what I need to talk about some of my journals um, journal making journal what I done with things and stuff like that so basically when I started doing journals I did not know what I was doing this is just a journal that's already pre-made and I just started using um, books that I have used and written and took notes and uh, started doing um, journaling or well maybe you know like just junk painting and that and, and to me junk journaling is not necessarily throwing your thoughts down throwing pictures in but it's whatever you want and my kind of um, thing that I use I'm gonna move my camera down my thing that I use my journals junk journal for I don't write personal things much down I just paint and work so whatever I'm feeling or whatever um, the theme might make me feel whatever that's what happens and that's how it goes so these are ways for me to practice especially at the beginning here I did not know what I was doing this is quite textured stuff here um, and I use stencils to put some kind of wood filler or something but um, this is was this was the way for me. First of all, I did not know what I was doing. I was thinking of gluing pages together without even separating um, the book, like you know, pulling things out of the book, thinning it out. So these are probably all the original pages. I did not know how to cut. I didn't really realize you had to do that, but that's how I started. Um, I did do like a few little feely journaling things here and there, but for the most part. Um, the it was more technique for me and at back in this time here I used a lot of my ink stamps and just put them onto the the uh, pages and like I said I used up these journals for notes and um, whatever I was studying at the time or taking notes on when I'm doing a project or whatever I was using these up like recycling them because I didn't need my notes anymore so that was my, you know, I had a few handful of things um, that I was doing at the beginning to start off with my journaling um, journey type of thing. So this was a board book and um, this was fairly new or old, old <laughs> fairly in the early years, New Year's. Um, I was actually painting today. But uh, this was again a French um, book that I found um, and I just thought the pictures were amazing so I decided to do it and um, this is where I did a lot of there is a lot of layers of papers and washi tapes and paints and that kind of thing and this is where I kind of just explored what I was doing creating how to do it because I did not know what I was doing, so I was just exploring. And the, this is how I learned. So, you know, practicing with these things. And I did not seal, I sealed, I sealed them with wax, but I mean, I was trying new things and I didn't know what I was doing. And, but that's how you learn, that's how you get. And you know, sometimes my work doesn't look any better today than it did back then. It's still crazy and messy. Um, let's see what's, I haven't opened these in ages. But it's just how you feel at the time and that release of, oh, I don't know if I can open this one. Um, you know, what you're going through or whatever. I might need a bone folder. Let's see if I destroy this or not. But I thought, sorry, walking away. I thought it'd be important to uh, show you my journey. Let's see. I don't know what this one is. Oh! <laughs> so this was my beginning learning how to collage paper. 
I maybe feels like a different texture on here, so I probably used Mod Podge or something, or some glue as a sealer instead of the wax. The wax really worked good. So that's things, you know, that I was learning. And this is the book. But that was my first, one of my first um, journaling type of things. Also, too, I've made lots of paper bag books and that kind of thing, but also I used a lot of uh, magazines as junk journals. So, um, I don't know how much I have done in here, guys, so I'm just kind of sorry about that. But So I used collage and paint just for the fun of it. I don't know how far I even got. I thought it was the only picture I got in here. I think that is. But, I believe it is. But that's another thing is nice. This was a nice thick, you could hear how thick it is journal or um, a magazine. So I started using magazines and that kind of thing because art books were too expensive. Um, this was uh, samples. I made this junk journal washi tape and these are th basically a signature of all these um, samples of um, the, the countertop samples so that would be a full page of what the sample looked like and I just did sing just did these together with washi tape so that was my one of my earlier journals too about six years ago or so so just kind of playing around with it and this was exploring with paint, right? So, um, you don't want to necessarily buy canvases for this kind of stuff because you don't, I didn't know what I was doing. So it's just playing around and seeing how far I can go with things and it's on a thing that doesn't really matter, you know? So that's what that is. It's pretty cool. But so a lot of things that I haven't finished. Um, here's something too that I used as a journal, an art journal, and um, was old calendars. So this is how I received this calendar. I think it was bought, uh, I think Cora gave it to me, one of the kids gave it to me as a gift. 2018 or something like that. I don't know the year because we covered it <laughs> or it was covered. But um, going back and um, doing um, with Annalise, um, uh, we, were, we were doing a, a monthly thing or something like that, and yeah, we were doing monthly challenges, and I did it on the calendar, and um, that was my way of using up the calendar. So this is another way of journaling and going, getting creative. This is just crazy, but it's all looked like papers, and then I painted over it, but. This was a way, and oops, not everything turns out perfect. And that's what's nice about this is that uh, you can totally um, not worry about a canvas mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. You could just be free with it. So these were, like, obviously this is perfect. See, this chihuahua did not work out. <laughs> these were perfect for the challenge, a uh, monthly challenge, because I had one for each month to fill in. And because the, the calendar was a coloring calendar, it was a gift, I didn't just, I thought this was the best way for me to keep it, right? And, uh, yeah, I used it for my art, um, crazy art journaling stuff. So, that is it. So this is a good way to, even if you have the smaller ones, or whatever, this is a good way to journal. Um, this one's Cora's journal, and this was a pre-made uh, 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 little pad. And again, she, you know, we had, I don't know where mine was, but we were doing it together. And, um, or mine is, sorry. We were doing it together, and she's stamping and doing her stuff in here. So, um, some of it's sticking together, but... We were doing all our little things together on this one. So that's another thing. We just have a ring in here. I think this came from the dollar store or one of those, you know, cheapy places. And this is just notepad, basically. So you can do journals with a notepad. This was so long ago. So long ago. And here's another little journal I made for Cora, which got destroyed. But she, we still have it. The pieces are falling off. Um, but this is one of the first ones I made for her with her little letter recognition and um, 
and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it's a toilet paper roll journal, so little things. And she wrote in there the little things that she wrote when she was little. So I still have that. Um, and these are really fun, again, journals that you can kind of explore what to do. Back then I had a lot of cutouts and, and punches and and that kind of thing just to play with, see if I like, you know. Then you kind of grow on to what you like. This is um, that paper that goes in between the layers of newspapers. Every time they have a bundle, they put the brown paper on the bottom and the top. And I think I was just challenging myself to see if I can make something out of it. And, I'm just gonna move this. I don't know how far I can, sorry. And this is what, how it turned out. So, nothing fancy, just I sewed it together with my sewing machine. And I just kind of doodled with it. And I really like drawing and doodling with um, um, brown paper because it really um, picks up the pencil when you're doing pencil crayon and that kind of thing. So I like that. So that was another one. So papers, and I just used more of them inside for the signatures. I'll have to do, okay, this is one of my earlier ones too. Um, very dark. I want to actually give it a facelift because I'm not like happy with how it turned out. I'm not sure what I, where I was going with this one. I was actually working in this today and that's what gave me the idea to do um, this video. Um, so it's just painted all my scraps. This is literally scraps and I even added more paint in there. And um, this is nothing to be, you know, writing home about. But it was just fun to throw together, use up a lot of uh, scraps that I had, um, to coloring pages, to things that were punched out, like uh, pages. And that's this junk journal. So I can go onto a random page and just start painting. So I did this um, with Nikki. And then I did, you know, this girl, just covering whatever I had left over on pages, and then I did that on top. So you can really play with with these things. So that's another one. This is the um, paper bag one. I did a few other paper bag ones. Um, worked a lot with this one with Nikki. And I just used recycled things, even chip bags. I think I even painted on them. And this was about three or four years ago so I mean it's, it's still lasting it's I mean I just did things just to see how far I can go I haven't worked on everything but um, painted I like painting in these things so but these are the kind of things I like to throw together and um, when I get a page I just get inspired and I paint it or something this was a uh, coloring page in the background of buildings, like probably in Italy or something like that, and I just painted this on top. So it gives you some room to feel inspired and just look at something and start painting. Not everything has to look great, but <laughs> that's how it goes. But that's what makes it so fun to do these journals, junk journals for even just art and that kind of thing, because you can um, just get away with well, here's a note I have a front pocket in here. Record. And I love keeping little things from the kids when they, when they grew up and that kind of thing. So this was Practicing Faces. And I actually kept this book just for that. Um, and I'm not really great at it, but it doesn't matter because it's for me to practice. And how and this is, this is uh, you know, pastels and stuff. So here's my grandchildren's colorings. And here's a paint, something I've chopped up, but, you know, like... Just, these are all my backgrounds when I was using these. The girls were delivering flyers. I used to use these to paint on. And then I just put them in the book after and reuse it. Okay, moving on. Here's a, something just flew out of there. Here is a journal I made. And I actually had help um, decorating it because it was one of those ones that you put in a swap. And then it goes to all several people. And um, so it's a pamphlet journal and so um, a lot of people de decorated this um, journal so there's a lot of different people's works in here and um, I'll have to show you my favorite ones in here where um, a seminar um, Sam 
and I think her, I don't know her last name. Anyways, she put Arabic, all the children's names, mine and my husband's and all the children's names in Arabic. So, that's wonderful. And, um, like, just everybody did their own thing in there. Who was it? I'm sorry, we shouldn't be having me. Um, yes, seminar. Anyways, so this was just uh, finger painting on this journal to make it with a stencil over top to make the flowers and yeah, easy. Um, paper bag journals, this is a recent one. Threw together some paper bags and I just played with the paints. Um, I could still do a lot more work in these, but these are so fun. I just threw things together for our video and for um, a project for some kids actually. They did these as, as well at the library. So. Um, but you can do your little painting or keeping your little collage of stuff, like if you went to the movies and all that kind of stuff in here. And these journals could be really fun for that. And like I said, you create them, they're free, um, size like the, the, F, the, the time put into it and what you purchase to, to add to it. But here, let's see here, this one's a super junky one that just threw together. No reason, no, just, just did it. To use up stuff, that was my purpose on this one. So let's see if I can move you closer. Sorry. This is a one where I just um, used up a whole bunch of stuff, threw them together. Some of the time I didn't even like, this one's not even glued together, it's just in there because it looks great. But using stuff and things, these are with something that, um, you know, someone made me, she lives in Quebec, I, her name's not coming to my head at the second, um, Nick, uh, Vicky, um, and uh, just throwing washi tape in there, more from Vicky here, um, different pieces, embellishments, and that's just to use up some of my stash and to make it look nice. And I still have room to add my own paintings and personality. Um, but, yeah, there's little things come out of the pockets. But this is just fun to throw together, right? So this is a collage off a magazine. Just threw it in here. Um, I probably was going to do something with it and just didn't turn out or something. And didn't have the heart to throw it away. Here's our pocket that I got. This pocket here I made. Um, this was actually an envelope made by someone for me sent in happy mail. They had this one inside there, so washi tape, homemade washi tape. But you can use things that people made you so you can keep them. And like this has been made for me. So yeah, it's really nice to throw things. This someone gave me this. Like a lot of this one here is a lot of things that people give me. People stamp these out for me. So this is what that is. And just a lot of my stash. This was a lot of stash that was um, gifted to me. Here in one, another paper bag one that I made more bookie like. Um, made sure I had it flat. I wanted it to look like kind of like stand out like a book. I used my coloring pages that I, I have tons of. Um, you can buy them cheap. People usually give them to you. I don't tend to use them too much, but they're nice. I only did a couple pages on here, but they're nice to use. This is on the coloring page here to paint. Oops. Um, or to, to journal or to whatever, your own little thing. So I, you know, I only did a couple, but I mean, there's a, tons of room to do more. So that's that. Okay, getting to um, this one here is uh, quite old too. This was one of my first, mm -hmm, I think one of my first using a real book cover and gluing them in because I didn't have, I'm too lazy to use signatures. So I just had magazines and I fold the bottom in, made pockets, and these were the People magazines I believe, or something like that, and then I cut cut them heart shape on the top to give it the heart shape. So some of them don't have the pockets, some of them do, they kind of, I made signatures, and that's how it worked, and it's really great. This is what I did with some of it. I just painted over the magazine. And this one's my Valentine. So when I get closer to Valentine, and I'm in that mood of, you know, vintage. I love vintage Valentine cards. And um, that's what I did was use some of the pockets. Some of them I just paint over. And I just, um, magazine pages are really great for painting. So I just did that. Um, practice my 
painting. Practice my cartoony painting and all the little characters I loved growing up kind of thing. So that was meant for that. So I have tons of room on this one and I glued these in. And this was quite some time ago and it's still holding up. So this is good. Gluing, I'm fine with gluing. Um, um, this one here is a few years ago too. This was just a deck, deck of cards and glue them onto a probably soap box to make the spine here. And this was just one of my very early little journals I made for my embellishments I was practicing. And uh, you can see that they're nothing to, to write home about, but they were just a way for me to keep them in and look at them once in a while and my embellishments that I made. So this was about seven or eight years ago, and this was an easy retie the ribbon around it to hold in the signatures just so then I had these little space to put my homemade embellishments easy peasy and drink coffee more recent and I like I said I have lots of journals that I've given away um, given as gifts more recent have no reason for this one but the Halloween -y. and I was just wanting to use these cardboards that I had in my stash and this is book board and this is just mostly um, um, papers that are scrapbooking papers and some coloring pages. There's one or two um, encyclopedia type of page with some information on them about airplanes or something and that's that. So that was just more of a decorative um, idea for me to do. Um, again, there's another one that's half a book and I started really liking using books because I've been at the library for a few years and they're just tossing these and I thought, well, I'm going to recycle them. So I put paper bags in this one. And again, I glued, I made my signatures and I glued them in. I'm like, it worked before, so it's going to work again. So again, just using up my stash and just playing with color and that kind of thing. And some of my old embellishments that I haven't used that I was making, I just threw them on there for, for a reason to have, because I mean, I had them and they're just piling up. Um, collaging paper. But this is the reason why I like doing these. Everything's free except for the paint that you used and the um, glue, you know, the time. But look at this. I made this a few years ago and I just had it in a box. So what's the point? I might as well throw it in a journal. Magazine pages. They can really be made out of anything. See, I had another one here. Um, this was when I was... And we got those stamps um, for Nikki and myself. Nikki um, had wanted to order some, and then I loved, fell in love with them when she showed me them. And then I was like, I'm ordering something. So, but yeah, this is wrapping paper type of stuff, and yeah, you can totally use anything and just cover it up or don't. So that's that. And tea bag on the front. That's my closure. Um, this is a button. I made sure that um, I actually put it right through, made a hole, and put paper on it, put a lot of glue, really made sure it was in there good. So that is my closure on that one. But as, as you can see, my books are getting a little bit better, um, per se. I don't know, it's sort of junky but they're getting a little bit more fancy because I'm challenging myself with what to do with them. And, um, but um, still my paper bag journals and all this, the calendar journal and all that stuff, still, I still love them. So this is my more recent one too. It's just, uh, I haven't painted anything in here, but I thought this would be really cute for some type of paintings, but it's my fall, recent fall journal. Um, a lot of these journals I've done in the past I have not made a video on. But this is all mostly magazine paper and kind of um, cardstock and office paper, kind of weird color office paper I found that I don't know how I got to hold them, probably from the library. And um, yeah, here's another partial book one. And like I said, these beads I've had forever and stuff and these book or board pieces. So I was just using up my stash and also being able to make a video.
for you guys. So here's a snap. And this one too, here was just a challenge for myself to use up these tickets from um, the library. When the books come in, these are in there. They're saying that they're supposed to come to our library. If somebody wants them as a whole. There's no personal information, it's just book information. But it could be a cute notebook for somebody. I know we have phones and digital, whatever, all but it's a cute notebook, cute, uh, you know, idea book. Um, and I'm sure I can doodle and paint or do something, use some kind of um, media in there. I'm sure of it. So, And then another little journal and toilet paper roll book, actually, because this is just a book cover. A uh, uh, roll here is the uh, kitchen roll. And these are toilet paper rolls inside. And I just did this just to show how to do this because I have actually not made a video before, I believe, of this type of journal. There's a lot of journals I've made um, with toilet paper rolls that open up. There's a lot of um, different things I've made with toilet papers and I have not made videos for them. I just don't know why. I'm guessing these videos can take a long time. so and my editing skills are not the best. Um, I believe this video is going up without any editing, so there we have it. But that is the gist of my journals that I have up to date. Now this is just going to be a cutesy thing. I think I'm going to put some pictures. Um, you know they have those new little vintage style pearl, pearl, how do you say it? Pearl, the pictures. <laughs> Um, and I thought, you know, like they are, the pictures are like so small. Um, they have some that you can just take a picture on your phone and they print up on the little machine and all that kind of stuff too. Like the ones that you go and pay in the old days, in the days when, you know, when I was a youth, kid, teenager. Anyways, and you can have, so I think I'm going to do that with a bunch of pictures, make it look like those for my granddaughter and give her these. So, you know, I think. These things are great gifts because, you know, it has some um, nice things to say about them. And plus, you can have a little picture in them and, and you, you know, tell them what you remember about that picture or that day or whatever. It's cute. So there's lots of reasons to have these journals. And they're lots of fun. You can give them away. And you can sure practice a lot of junk. And sure, you know what, when you get your frustrate on, when you're frustrated with something and you get your craft on to, to relieve all that stuff, it sure helps. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you guys for watching. Let me know which one's your favorite um, and if you've seen them before and um, yeah. And if you're interested in a new type of journal, let me know what you're interested in. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye bye.